Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas again from iOS SoftModder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Photo Booth on your iOS device. Now, some iOS devices, I think from iPad 2 to present, actually has Photo Booth on the device. But if you have an iPhone, no matter which iPhone you have, there's no way you can get Photo Booth onto your phone until now, of course. So for this Photo Booth tweak or port, we're going to need Cydia and, of course, a jailbroken phone. Now once you have your jailbroken phone, just jump into Cydia and search for Photo Booth, and it should be Photo Booth iOS 7. And once you find that, of course, you're going to install, and then after you install, you're going to need to reboot. And then the application will be added to your home screen. So once Cydia loads up, just go to search right here, type in Photo Booth, boom, it's right there the second one, Photo Booth iOS 7, just click on that and then you hit install, respring your device. Now once it's added, it's right here and you'll see the, the classic, some of the classic um, effects that we're used to on our iPhoto Booth um, applications on the Mac computers. So we have thermal camera, x-ray, stretch, light tunnel, either of those. So we just click on, let's click on thermal camera and of course bring this up. If you want to take the photo you just tap on of course this photo icon right here. Now if you want to go back to the effects you just tap on that. The effects I guess that's an effects icon and it'll go back. Now of course if you want to switch the camera you just tap right there and I'll switch the camera to the front facing camera. Now once you take a photo it'll do that It'll pause for a couple seconds, and then it'll bring it up in this little, I guess, gallery. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically save to your image gallery or your camera photo gallery. So, what you can do, you just tap on that photo. If you want to save it, you see that this comes up. Um, you can also just disregard it or throw it away just by clicking on the trash icon. We bring that up right here, and we can text it, email, tweet it, Facebook it, or add it to Flickr. Now there's no save image as or save image, which is what we're used to, and that's how you would save the image to your phone. But regardless, you can either text it to yourself or email it to yourself, and once you do that, then you can save that image to your phone. So it's a little, it's a little longer process, but you can still save images from the Photo Booth app onto your phone. So all you have to do, you just hit text message right there. It'll bring up, of course, your text messaging app and then you just add whoever you want to send it to, hit send, and there you go. So here's the first real working port for Photo Booth on iOS devices that are not iPads. So again, make sure to check it out, make sure to look at all the old and classic um, filters that they have in the app, and just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out the full tutorial if you have any more questions or want to see any more screenshots of how the app works in action. So thanks for watching, guys.